Hello, I'm John McNamara, one of the senior inventors in the IBM Hersey Lab, and we're talking today from the IBM Hersey Innovation Centre. We're talking with Jason Simpson from Agility Multichannel. Hello, Jason, how are you? I'm good, John, how are you? Fantastic, thank you very much. So, uh, Jason, before you begin, do you want to tell people about yourself and what you do? Yeah, sure, of course. Um, so, uh, my name is Jason Simpson. I'm the Director of Sales and Marketing for Agility Multichannel. Um, my responsibility is predominantly um, sales and marketing here in Europe. Fantastic. So, Jason, can you tell us a bit about your organization? Yeah, of course, not. Absolutely. So, uh, Agility Multichannel is a independent software vendor. Uh, we develop and market Agility, uh, which is a simple to use but very sophisticated product information management or master data management system. And um, really what that does is it helps uh, retailers, distributors and manufacturers to put their really valuable product data at the heart of a go anywhere commerce strategy. Um, we've been ranked number one for customer satisfaction for the last two years running by the MDM landscape report. Um, and customers are, are global broadly, so uh, people like Adidas, um, Avon Products, uh, Dunnell Mill here in the UK, Office Depot, um, Stanley Tools, and people like Chewy Cruises, the, uh, the holiday company as well. Uh, we're actually headquartered here in the UK, in York. Um, we also have offices in Chicago in the USA and also Malmo, Sweden, and uh, we've got a growing uh, integration and reseller uh, partner network throughout the world. Really what we do is we, we help companies to improve speed to market, to uh, reduce errors in, uh, in publishing, and to improve their overall data quality and consistency. And we do that in a number of ways, uh, John. So the first one is uh, we help them onboard large quantities of supplier product data. Uh, we help them to automate the cleaning and validation of that data according to their business rules. Um, we then help them drive really high quality enrichment of that product data using our intuitive uh, interface. Um, you know, we enable merchants and product managers to be able to visualize products before they're actually published. So we use uh, simple HTML previews to enable that. It just helps uh, merchants and product managers to be able to proof in context before they actually release uh, out to e-commerce. Uh, we help them report on product completeness. So if they're launching new ranges of products, uh, you know, what kind of state are they in? What, uh, what stage of enrichment have they reached? And then obviously that helps to drive tasks to the uh, appropriate product owners. Um, we help them with language translation workflows, whether they translate in-house or whether they outsource via a translation memory or translation agency. And then we help them to syndicate that, that approved content to any e-commerce platform or web content management system or any other marketing touch point come to that, um, including things like Adobe's Creative Suite for um, print production for catalogs, circulars, flyers, and that kind of thing. That sounds phenomenal. So what was it in that case, Jason, that initially led you to engage with the IBM Hersey Innovation Center? Sure, sure. Um, we did that for a number of reasons, John, um, uh, and I'll name three and then I'll go into a little bit more detail maybe. But uh, the first one was because together between Agility, Multichannel and IBM, we can provide a solution to um, a growing problem in the marketplace. Um, another reason is because there's growing demand for that solution. Um, and finally, to, to mitigate a competitive threat and to help both companies uh, be more competitive in, uh, in tendering and, and bids for new solutions. So um, let me kind of explain those uh, in a bit more detail. Um, so the first one, the, the challenge in the marketplace. So um, whether you're a global manufacturer or a distributor or a retailer, um, providing a kind of continuous and consistent message throughout the buying journey is, is really a make or break imperative. And um, it's a huge opportunity to beat the competition not just to the actual sale, but to longer term commitment through customer loyalty as well. Um, and the challenges of that place on, on, the, uh, on the business is that, you know, those consumers expect to be able to move seamlessly through that, uh, that multiple touch points and, uh, and channels through that journey. Um, therefore, the business <clears throat> has to uh, be able to source products, to enrich those products and to be able to syndicate them to the marketplaces in ever reducing timescales. You know, their speed to market is becoming more and more important all the time. Um, so the pressure is really on companies to be able to localize the messages uh, to individual markets in multiple languages, um, and uh, you know that that's that's a minimum expectation. And you know what these scenarios do is is create you know profound complexities in businesses that overwhelm um, most of the kind of out of date or silo based systems that uh, most companies still have in place. So what that kind of provides us with is an opportunity to to solve this problem and you know, adopting a product information management or an MDM of product data solution will really provide all the tools that that business needs to integrate that information, 
and to provide that single source uh, for enriching and syndicating the approved content, um, ensuring that that message reaches the customer in a, in a differentiated and trustworthy and, uh, and obviously consistent way. So that was kind of the first reason. Um, it's all about solving that market challenge. The, the second reason um, uh, obviously is, uh, you know, financially driven, you know, um, so market growth is a key thing. And um, I've just got three statistics here for you. So um, the IDC um, recently published a report that claimed that 33% uh, of retail respondents intend to purchase a product information management system in the next three to five years. Um, Ventana Research, a uh, separate research company, uh, their research shows that only 27% of organizations use commercial software for PIM and that 57% will actually change their PIM software within the next 12 to 18 months. Um, and then finally, um, you know, Forrester Research, uh, as well as, um, you know, firmly, um, um, you know, stating that product information is, is one of the major four pillars to a successful commerce strategy, they're also saying now that a, a commerce-focused PIM is really critical to helping to resolve three out of the top four barriers to effective digital commerce. Um, so there's lots and lots of uh, statistics, lots of uh, weight of, uh, of feeling that uh, you know PIM and MDM of product data has really reached a tipping point. Phenomenal. So can you tell us, Jason, what was the outcome of the engagement with the uh, the Hursley Innovation Centre? Yeah, sure, of course. Um, so. The, um, the Agility PIM solution can now be fully integrated into WebSphere Commerce um, and it's got all the added functionality required to support and deliver to every other channel and touch point. Um, and this has led to obviously um, a, a ready for commerce and a ready for social business uh, certifications uh, for, for the company. Um, what that enables the IBM sales organization or to its partners to do is to um, offer the Agility um, PIM solution alongside WebSphere Commerce. And, um, you know, that's actually going to be, um, you know, really, really beneficial. It's um, it's designed for business users. So the setup and deployment is very, very simple. Uh, it's very quick to achieve a return on investment. Um, you know, it comes with out of the box data integration or ETL tools uh, and also obviously um, a business intelligent toolkit, too. <clears throat> Um, the user interface uh, comes with a, a series of gadgets that let each stakeholder um, to work in an environment that's ideally configured for their specific needs and roles. So if you're a vendor or a product manager or a merchandiser or a content manager or a creative or even a translator, um, you would have a different workspace in which we deliver different functionality to enable you to do your job that much more effectively and uh, that much more intuitively. Awesome. So thinking about it. What would you say was a major benefit uh, to working with the IBM Hose Innovation Center? Sure. Well, you know, um, th th they certainly made it very, very easy uh, for us to work with them. Um, you know, the, the people are, are um, incredi incredibly creative, uh, clear thinkers, very responsive and helpful. And, um, you know, they made it really, really easy to, uh, to work with our partner. Um, we, we actually work with a development partner called Deeper Than Blue. Um, and, um, you know, it, it just made uh, made life very, very easy. Um, the whole process was well documented and uh, we were guided through the process to uh, to reach a really, really speedy conclusion. And, uh, you know, we were really happy that uh, we we're able to commercialize this so quickly. Jason, that's fantastic. What I'll do is I'll make sure in the video that we've got links to Agility and, of course, to uh, uh, Agility Mill Channel as well. It's been an absolute joy to talk to you. Thank you very much indeed. No problem, John. Good to talk to you too. Take care now. Yes, thanks a lot. Bye-bye now.